Now we should know two important points in this. Okay. The two important points that are to be noted. So the important observations. The first thing is that the work done depends on the initial and the final points. The work done depends on the initial and the final points. And it should. Why? Because it is a conservative charge and not on the path taken since electric field is a conservative field. It is a conservative field. Okay. Now, the work done is equal to the difference in the potential energies. Right? Difference in the potential energies. Fine. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm making this observation here. Number two. The work done equals the difference in potential energies, the difference in potential energies. So, so I know that WRP is equal to UP minus UR. Okay. Now, as long as you are bothered about the difference in the potential energies, any arbitrary constant that gets added to these potential energies is absolutely immaterial. Okay. So, what I am trying to say, when we are concerned with difference in potential energies with difference in potential energies then any arbitrary constant added to any arbitrary constant added to the potential energy is immaterial. How? So say instead of this it is UP plus alpha minus UR plus alpha. What happens? This again gives you UP minus UR only. Correct. Let us try to understand it from the viewpoint of the heights. Okay. So height of a building say somewhere, say here, say there is a building, okay, the height of the building from here is say 50 meters. There's another building that is say 70 meters high, okay, from the same reference point, it is 70 meters, right? Now what is the difference between their heights? Say this is H2, say this is H1, then H2 minus H1 is, is 20 meters, right? Now if I go below by 20 meters and I start measuring the height from here, say this is 20 meters, then this height becomes 70 and this becomes this becomes 90 meters 
and what happens what is the difference okay height differences height differences 90 minus 70 which is still 20 so differences remain the same irrespective of the reference point understand so if you take the reference somewhere okay say reference here for measuring the heights then the same thing gets added or subtracted to both of them get that point to both of them but the difference remains the same it is exactly the same kind of thing happening here understand now what happens is where do we put the zero of the potential energy that is the question that will that is bothering us where do i put the zero now arbitrarily we put the zero of the potential energy at infinity okay okay so so do i erase this how can you put something this part somewhere that we don't know where it is yeah we don't know but it does not pose a problem we will we'll soon see it does not pose a problem because because assigning it anywhere else is like a bias you understand that? if you say at 20 meters then why that? Why do you call that as zero? Okay. So infinity is in a sense absolutely neutral. Mm -hmm. It is absolutely neutral for, for all charge configurations. So, so we, we tend to put it at infinity. Okay. We tend to put it at infinity. So, so we take the, understand, since the reference point does not matter reference point does not matter does not matter in case of in case of since the reference uh, in case of differences of potential energy differences of potential energy we take the we take the reference point for for u equal to 0 at r tending to infinity okay so u is 0 so u infinity is 0 okay does 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 u infinity is equal to zero now with that reference point if you want to know the absolute potential energy what should that be if you want to know the absolute potential energy you will have to come from infinity to r infinity to p extremely sorry you will have to take r at infinity understand that to to know the thus to know the potential to know the absolute potential energy energy r should go to zero r should go to zero and we should come r should go to infinity and we should and we should come from infinity to p correct so what happens so what happens in this if i put put r as infinity okay we have we have w r p is equal to is equal to u p minus u r fine fine now what does that mean it means that if if r 
tends to infinity then w infinity p is u p minus u infinity and u infinity i have designated as zero so this is u p minus zero that is u p you understand do we get that point so it is w infinity p which is u p so now can i define the can i define so with this i'll define the potential energy at a point correct the absolute potential energy now till now we were defining the difference in potential energy now we say that the potential energy at a point p is defined as the work done in getting a charge from infinity to that point in whatever through whatever arbitrary path you desire okay so so we define it here okay should i erase this so based on this i define my potential at a point right potential energy at a point does potential energy at a point is defined as as the work done in getting a charge or i should say or i should say an arbitrary charge an arbitrary charge from infinity to that point through through any arbitrary path correct so if you are if you are getting this here then you should be getting it from infinity to p okay that is okay again you should understand potential energy this is absolute potential energy but this is according to our convention that at infinity the potential is zero in a sense you are saying if you have fixed fixed the reference here you start measuring from sure you put the tape there right so that's why you have to travel all the way from infinity to a point p now it may seem a bit weird traveling from infinity going to infinity and then coming back from there but don't worry okay it is not going to create any trouble as far as the mathematical formulation is concerned and you'll get a definite value understand that you get a definite value so just don't worry about that how do i go there okay mathematically it is a finite value fine understand that hmm but even in this case the the charge is the the, the charge is equal to the the uh, the work done depends on the charge that is coming from infinity to that point okay you should understand that <clears throat> fine another thing okay the potential energy at a point that may be defined due to one charge or there could be a configuration of charge right 
so you should understand that potential energy at a point at a point due to a configuration of of charges is defined as the work done in getting an arbitrary charge from infinity to that point through any arbitrary path right so so we are doing nothing we have just put this in words that's all right